it was one of our better halves, certainly. We had a couple of good halves this year. So. But I was pleased our guys really responded. We uh, set the tone in the first few minutes of the half. Uh, a couple defensive stops. You know, we scored in different ways, got offensive rebound baskets. Uh, we didn't just make shots. We uh, scored off the defense. Guys were aggressive. And, and then we made plays and con consistently made them throughout the course of the half. We built positive momentum and, and certainly had a, a lot of different types of baskets in that game. Considering where you are in the ACC standings, eight games left, I mean, you almost have to say we're in a playoff tournament mentality now. Not really. We're just, I mean, we're just still focused on teams ahead of us and the game that we, that, that we have ahead of us and not trying to get too worried about all the other things, standings and in the tournament, out of the tournament, RPIs. That, that doesn't do us a lot of good. We just need to practice. We need to get better. We need to keep focusing on things we can control. And, uh, try to have great energy and effort. It's a long season in basketball, and, uh, but I'm really proud of the way our guys have played and, and the kind of energy and effort they've played. Castle Coliseum is not exactly the most fun place to play, is it? No, it's difficult. Eh? It's loud in there, and, and uh, supposedly they're going to have a balloon out, so I'm sure it'll be a great crowd. And Buzz has got them playing at a very high level, very physical and strong team. They've got some older guys. Uh, they've got a couple good transfers that have really come in and helped their team nicely. Uh, no, they, they can be really hard, and it, it'll be a very physical, tough game. The other night on Twitter, somebody said, geez, wonder what Brad Brownell said to the team at halftime. Now we learn that Dante Grantham actually might have said something. <laughs> Do you like to see a, a, a younger player step up and yeah, take a little absolutely. ownership? Yeah, at the end of the day, your teams are good when the players uh, direct the team more than the coach. The coach is always going to be involved and direct and give messages, but when the players – take ownership and become, start leading themselves and challenging themselves and holding each other accountable, uh, I think that's when we have a greater chance of success. Uh, you know, we've, we've struggled with that a little bit with this team uh, and even some years past a couple teams, but uh, uh, you know, hopefully we're growing. Uh, Dante's a guy that I think is growing as a player and you know, we know we need him to take another step and, and I think he wants to do that. His heart and head are in the right place, and certainly just express his feelings uh, at halftime as well as I do. You had a lot of those two game in three day things last year. You got it half month on Saturday and Monday. Did that prepare you a little bit last year on how to handle the team? Uh, you know, we've done this, I've had this throughout my career. Uh, different mid major, you, you, you get exposed to this. It's, I mean, you, it's more learning how to handle the off day and or the middle day as opposed to like game day and all that kind of stuff. You know, Kids are pretty resilient. They, they should be fine. Um, it's just you know how to prepare as best you can. Give them as much information as you can without overloading them in a short amount of time. And uh, you know we're a prep team. We're a team that, that does a lot of scouting and puts a lot of time into film and all those kinds of things more than some. And so we have to learn how to manage that and make sure our guys are ready to go. It's time to go. Coach Landry has picked up a couple of cheap fouls early in the last couple of games. Has there been any consideration to starting City like you did early in the season? Kind of you know, I've thought about it at times. I don't know if I'll go back to it or not, um, but it's certainly something that I've thought about. Um, it's a thing that I did a little bit at, the, at one time in the year. But, um, you know, Landry's just got to—he's got to make some better decisions. Some of them are, uh, you know, silly fouls. The first foul, the way he just went over the back, you can't have that. You know, uh, but then, then there are some fouls that, you know, he's gotten some tough breaks in the last couple of games on a couple of calls. And, and then, you know, he's always going to be in contact situations. So there's going to be some fouls. He's just got to be smart and know when to when if he's going to make one to make it and when to stay away from these situations. And he's learning that. Just here down the stretch, and really need to the floor. Despite the quick turnaround, it must be nice knowing you have a three-game homestand coming up. Right? Yeah, you know what's funny is I don't. I I just saw that here the other day. I wasn't. I don't really get too far ahead with you know how many other games we have and who it is. And I'm trying to play them by the week and focus on that. And certainly, you know, somebody made me aware of it. It was Phil. Or, um, you know, that feels good. Yeah, we have three on the road now. We get three coming back. So. Uh, Right now we just need to worry about getting tech